A cheap pedal isn't necessarily a crappy pedal. And conversely, a crappy pedal isn't necessarily a cheap pedal. But how good can a pedal with a list price of £15 be? We're here to find out today when we look at the Dan Electro Fab Overdrive and Fab Distortion. I'm Will, and this is Crappy Pedal Demos, where the pedals are crappy, but sometimes the demos are good. zone, sitting in my tone throne, and I can't think of another word that rhymes with tone. So, the Fab Overdrive, since it came out, because that's when I started getting into pedals, and it was like, super cheap. And the website made it sound amazing, that it's a clone of some long lost 70s boutique overdrive made at a mom and pop shop, which I thought meant a hardware store, I don't know why. Um, there's a really good JHS pedal show episode where Josh goes into the whole story and the mystery and finds out which things are and he, you know, he does a better job of it than I'm going to. We don't have pedal cam today because these little knobs next to impossible to see where they're set so it would be the least useful camera work so I'm not bothering and it's my video so I can do what I want. mid-heavy kind of tone. It's not the most natural sounding breakup and it's really low on the OD control already but it is very responsive to the pickup volume. So if I go to the neck and in fact I'm going to split it down to a single coil and roll off to kind of a seven Um, 
let's crank this gain all the way up, just because. Let's see what we're dealing with now. cranking the level more than inducing kind of any more break up of its own. Interestingly, the level is, I don't even know how you'd say it, what o'clock. The level is low, put it that way, it's, like, it's a very loud pedal. It's got a lot of, you know, just clean output, if you like. So in the song, the way I used it was with the overdrive rolled all the way back. You know, so it sounds pretty clean, just fans you up a little bit. And then when you dig in, you get some of the hair around the nose. And then cleans it right back up. Distortion. Let's see how this sounds. And I'm going to stick on the bridge humbucker because that's where distortion lives. It's real honky and not great. Um, so let's. Get this distortion, I think that's halfway, it's hard to tell. distortion in the way that say someone would call the fuzz factory a fuzz distortion it's just got a weird -ness. it kind of reminds me of the tone in this song if anyone remembers it <laughs> so compressed. Also, because we're using a crappy power supply, but crappy pedals get crappy power. I think it would maybe be useful in if you're in like a kind of mid-90s pop-punk cover band type arrangement. <laughs>
else just because it's a lot of game and I'm playing the kind of stuff I would have done when I was 14. Uh, probably like a hundred different tempos. For a long time I've used that Fab OD as a boost because it's got loads of output level. So let's crank that output to halfway, keep the overdrive down like people would do with a tube screamaroo and see how that sounds. Then we're going to go back up to the neck pickup for that because I think it's going to be really bright and harsh sounding. <laughs> Santana vibes. Now let's throw on some delay, and conveniently, there's a delay pedal at the end of the board. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Is probably the tagline they should have used for these pedals. So there we have it. The Dan Electro Fab Overdrive and Distortion. Fab isn't an adjective I would use very often and it's probably not an adjective I'd use to describe these pedals. I'm Will and this has been Crappy Pedal Demos where the pedals have been crappy and the demo probably has too. Catch you next time.